Good morning. It's 7.03 and it's on Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. And I started off singing and then I kind of made it a toneless melody. Um, yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Good morning. I, I said that part already. I'm Christiana Ellis and I just got up. This is five more minutes. Uh, back to work. New month. Um, I have to, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going back into the office today and, uh, there's a little bit of, uh, reluctance just because, uh, the, the last thing that I did before the long weekend was discover that, uh, something that I hoped would go well didn't go as well as I hoped. And so, you know, I have to deal with that. I mean, it's fine. It's ordinary. It's just... You know, it didn't go the way that I wanted it to go. And, uh, yeah, so going back to that, I was able to set it aside, put it out of mind for a long weekend, but now I have to pick it up again. That's how it goes sometimes. Um, I'm also eager, though, that uh, tonight we return to so many levels, which, um, I mean, I guess technically we didn't have an off week for that. It was just that we did a... Uh, you know, we didn't have the whole party last week. Um, and so we had a fun little side quest, but I'm eager to resume the main storyline with everybody tonight. I'm looking forward to that. Yesterday, I finished playing Miles Mor uh, the Spider-Man Miles Morales game, which was a lot of fun. Um, my only complaint, really, is that the getting the Platinum Trophy requires finishing the game in New Game Plus, which, I mean, it could be worse. You know, there are some games that, like, require you to beat the game on the hardest difficulty or something like that, um, which is, you know, tiresome <laughs> and will generally mean that I just won't get a Platinum Trophy for, for games like that. Um, or, you know, there are certain challenge modes where you can get like essentially the equivalent of gold silver or bronze in your your result although it's portrayed as amazing spectacular ultimate in in uh in the game which is fun for spider-man but some of those are really hard and would be also tiresome to try to get the you know the the ultimate reward on all of those and so i'm glad that you don't have to do those to get a trophy but my desire to get the Platinum Trophy for it, like I did for the original Spider-Man game, kind of means that if I want to do that, I have to finish the game and then immediately start New Game Plus and then just finish it again. Now, if I just race through and do all of the main story missions and don't just spend time swinging around doing side quests and stuff like that, maybe it won't actually take that long. But it kind of... Um, in le instead of letting me feel like I've just wrapped up the game with a nice little, nice little bow and have a nice little self-contained happy experience, it it runs the risk of having me finish my experience with the game going, oh, finally. Which I think, you know, is not maybe the best way to handle that. I mean, it's absolutely great to have a New Game Plus mode and even to have maybe some trophies associated with doing that if only to kind of encourage people to try to start that but you know I just like playing the whole game the whole story again right away is not I don't know I suppose I could certainly I don't have to do it right away but it's just like it it, it creates this whole sort of uncertainty feeling about it instead of having me be able to go all right that was wonderful and now I'm done um, having it be a little bit shorter compared to the main game, I think, is absolutely a good thing. And, you know, increasingly, I think a lot of uh, games, especially big open world adventures, too long. Too long. And they're, they're too long. It's, it's, it's actually not even a matter of being too long as much as they end up being so long because they are overstuffed with little stuff that isn't very interesting. 
Like, for example, The Witcher 3 is also very long, and a lot of it is very good, and I loved it. But then there's also a lot of parts where you're kind of just riding, you know, running around or uh, traveling over long distances of places that you've seen before, and then fighting a monster that you've fought before to get a piece of gear that you're not going to wear. And, you know, some of that's good, but a lot of it's pretty bland filler stuff. And I think that, you know, the trend of having these games be made to feel so huge and epic by having a lot of really good material, but then also stuffing every remaining crevice with some little uh, bit of, you know, like... Well, you know, a good example, too, maybe, uh, is uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild, which is a very good game. And it's fun, for the most part, getting the little Korok seeds when you get them. But the idea of getting all of them, and especially my understanding is that the reward is not terribly impressive, that starts to feel like, that seems like a waste of time to me. <laughs> It's 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 a fun little change of pace uh, note when you're playing, but the idea of trying to track down all of those things is basically a lot of effort for very little reward. And I think that there are a lot of things in big open world games that tend to be like that. And I think, you know, in The Witcher 3, you know, you want to fill out everything on the map. You want to discover all the little question marks, but a lot of the question marks are actually not anything very interesting. And I think you could remove, you know, reduce those by about 40% and it would be only improvement in the game. Um, so by that token, I think Spider-Man Miles Morales is better sized, better length. Um, I will occasionally say that I, I think that the randomized crimes that happen across the city happen too often because it's hard to stay in the game mode to imagine you know that Miles would just ignore a crime that was happening even if in, in as a player you're trying to do something else in the game you don't want to ignore that it feels wrong it feels bad to ignore it but they happen so often that it's occasionally irritating and I guess, yeah, but anyway, it's a very good game. I liked it a lot, and I recommend it. And I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes, because I do actually have to go to work now.